A very warm good afternoon to all of you. I am Sakshi, welcoming you all on behalf of Solar Quarter and First View Group to multi physics simulation for solar energy applications. I take the pleasure to thank our speaker for investing his precious time to join the event and a very special thanks to our partner Consul for their immense support to organize this event. Here is a poll coming up for everyone. So kindly vote. I would like to announce that the uh, voting is open throughout the webinar, so you can all just go back and vote. Great. Uh, now I would like to request my team to play the promotional video. Developing designs and performing experiments virtually is both cost and time efficient. With Comsol Multiphysics simulation software, you can be sure your results accurately represent the real world. By studying multiple physical effects on one model, no matter the order in which you combine different physics, the software handles them together and solves the mathematical and numerical model equations and provides you with the model results. The entire simulation process takes place in the same software environment. You only need to learn one workflow, no matter the physics involved or the nature of your experiments. Depending on the scenario, you may want to model single physics, one-way multiphysics, or fully coupled multiphysics. The ComSol software offers all three. And the true advantage of Comsol Multiphysics is the ability to model unlimited multiphysics, where all physics in a model interact, affect each other, and together influence the model results. If you need to add any physics, including your own equations, to your model, you can. The application builder in Comsol Multiphysics gives you the tools to build your own simulation apps. The startup wizard and drag and drop functionality help you quickly turn your models into simulation apps with customized user interfaces, restricted inputs and outputs, report generators, and more. This way, you can spread the advantages of simulation to colleagues and customers by compiling your apps as standalone executables via ComSol compiler, or by making them accessible by web browser via ComSol server. Understand, predict, innovate, and optimize your processes and designs with ComSol Multiphysics. Thank you team for playing that. Well, as we are aware, the design and development of solar energy infrastructure, such as PV cells, solar panels, power generators, and transmission lines involve accounting for a number of different physics phenomena, as well as operating conditions. Multiphysics simulation not only helps us understand how these components perform in a real world environment, but also allows for a more efficient R&D process and a shorter time to market. Now, may I introduce Mr. Vaibha Vadikar, Applications Engineer from Comsol, to give us the presentation for his company. He will be also screening a poll in here, so do kindly register your vote. Over to you, Mr. Radhikar. Thanks, uh, Sakshi. Let me share my screen. So, very warm good afternoon to all. 
myself uh, vaibhav adhikar and i am uh, application engineer at comsol multiphysics india office so it is my pleasure to conduct the this session on multiphysics simulation for solar energy application since my childhood i have watched my grandma fervently uh, worship surya devta the deity of the sun as i grew older i discovered that her devotion to the sun is rooted in unparalleled unparalleled power also known as the solar energy human have harnessed this incredible force to achieve greatness using it to power our daily li uh, lives through the miracle of electricity this remarkable feat has been made possible through the invention of solar panels which uses the semiconductor material to directly convert solar energy into electricity alternatively we can convert solar radiation into the thermal energy which drives the steam turbine to produce the electricity in upcoming slides we will see how multiphysics simulation can help you to design all crucial elements that i have just referred for harnessing the power of the sun when i say multiphysics it means for example while modeling solar panel we need semiconductor physics modeling to get the higher efficiency for each solar cell this efficiency not only depends on the semiconductor material but also on the placement of these panels in particular geographic location now at a given geographic location will my solar panel uh, withstand the wind load or not will it suffer with degradation due to the atmospheric effect such as the erosion or corrosion addressing these questions also enhance the efficiency of solar system and thus equally important so addressing these uh, addressing this query can be possible with the comsol multiphysics simulation even for the single physics comsol multiphysics offer modeling in wide range of engineering and physics field this means engineers and scientists can utilize one modeling software for vast number of application such as modeling solar cell at a semiconductor level or modeling solar panel with the fluid structure interaction to consider the wind loads so let me talk about here some of our success stories how solar industry has used comsol multiphysics in order to resolve their issues my first user story is from the emix engineers they were interested in reducing the photovoltaic co quantity of the silicon wafer and they wanted to improve the production efficiency at the same time they also wanted to increase its purity therefore engineers at emix used the multiphysics simulation to determine the good crystallization parameter improve the electrical efficiency of the industrial size crucible and reduce the number of tests on their pilot furnace to do so multiphysics simulation was used to characterize the several aspect of the manufacturing process which includes coupling of the electromagnetic effects with the heat transfer my next user story is from the italian utility enel and italian national agency for new technology they joined together to develop the new kind of co concentrating solar power using the parabolic surface this plant generates the electricity during the sunny hours as well as under the overcast condition or even at the night this new type of plant depends on the molten salt as a medium for storing the heat in a large well insulated tanks the molten salt has a several advantage over the previously used pressurized oils because it can operate even at the higher temperature which maximizes the energy efficiency 
molten salt is much more efficient than conventionally used oil which degrades with the use keeping the salt in the liquid present state it's a challenge for 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 those teams they used compson multiphysics and its built in library of the heat transfer coefficient to analyze the temperature and heat losses throughout the uh, drainage circuit optimize both its geometry as well as the insulation property all these examples are our are from our existing users but today i would like to know more about the interest areas for today's audience so i request sakshi to please launch the second poll question here i would like to know about today's audience whether they are interested in solar cell modeling even at device level such as modeling the pn junctions or they are interested in modeling the environmental effects on the solar system if if your area of interest lies in modeling the solar concentrator or solar cookers please do kindly vote if any of the application is not listed here i will request all of you to type in the chat box if time permits definitely we will try to address those queries as well so sakshi i request you to launch this poll question uh yes already launched the voting is ongoing yes i would like to remind everyone that the polls are open throughout the webinar you can do so even when the poll is not visible on this stage would like to proceed with the presentation now uh thanks a lot sakshi let me share my screen so uh i think uh, today's uh, uh, audience have well uh, mixed up application and uh, let me start with the environmental effects uh, how multiphysics uh, can play a crucial role while addressing the environmental effects the when we placed the solar cell into the open field of course it experienced the wind load so now my solar panel is going to withstand that wind load or not that question needs to be addressed so here the multiphysics comes into the picture where you are interested in modeling the fluid flow at the same time the structure the structure behavior in presence of the fluid flow compson multiphysics will allow you to model such a phenomena with the help of fluid structure interaction not only this in the open field wind also carries out the dust with it and prolong exposure of these moving dust particle or the sa sand grains with the solid structure also results into the erosion at this time estimating the rate of erosion on the solid structure can be helpful to predicting the life life cycle of our solar system further the metal panels stand in the long run loses its their strength due to the corrosion and thus predicting the corrosion rate and taking the preventive actions can increase the shell life of of whole system with compson multiphysics you can identify the corrosion rate such as you can model the current cathodic protection you can also model the surface coating cathodic protection with the sacrificial anodes and to model this various studies are available such as the galvanic corrosion pitting corrosion and to describe all these phenomena dedicated 
physics interface, well-defined physics interface is available. Let me talk with help of one example. To model the atmospheric corrosion, Comson Multiphysics has the current distribution and shell interface. This allows you to model the atmospheric corrosion. And it is relevant for the solar panels structure for modeling the simulation that can estimate the corrosion rate and impact of coating, for example, the galvanization. Previously, I talked about the fluid structure interaction. So let's have in detail discussion with, with the help of demonstration. So here we are going to model the solar panel. As the solar panel is placed in open infinite space from simulation point of view, can we use, can we reduce the complexity to reduce the, our computational burden? Of course, yes. So let us identify those boundary condition. Now in the open field, particularly the turbulent flow K epsilon turbulence model is pretty widely being used. So how we can consider these models in order to model the fluid flow? Let us explore those part as well. <clears throat> so here, whenever you get launched into the console window, you can find three different windows such as model builder, settings and graphics. In the model builder, we follow top to bottom approach. When I say top to bottom approach, first we will define the parameters that will be required for in order to build your geometry or in order to run your simulation. Once the geometry is built, we will apply the material properties such as the air, structural steel, aluminum, glass. Once the appropriate material property is assigned, we, we are now ready to set up our problem from physics point of view while applying various boundary condition and domain conditions. So here you can see we have used the turbulent flow K epsilon model. You can also choose the different turbulence model. If you choose none, you're, you, will, uh, you are considering the sim uh, simplest flow, that is the laminar flow. When you consider the turbulent flow, various models are available in order to consider your turbulent flow. Now, let us apply the boundary condition one by one. Here, you can see I have just modeled only the unit cell of my solar panel as these solar panels are periodic in nature. So do I need to model whole, whole solar panel? Of course not. You can simply reduce your complexity by considering the usage of periodic conditions. So let us add the periodic wall condition. You can right click on physics interface that is turbulent flow K epsilon. And here you will find the periodic flow condition. For this structure, the periodicity is present in the YZ plane. So let us apply, sorry, uh, in the in the x xz plane so let us apply this periodicity by applying the periodicity i am considering open infinite space in into the y direction for the given set of condition next step could be the open boundary the top surface how it is going to be behave so for that, I will need to add the open boundary. Let me light click on the physics interface. And here you will find the open boundary. And you will apply this boundary condition on top 
surface you can set up you can uh, change the settings here itself next is to consider the uh, the link uh, between uh, the solid mechanics and the uh, and the turbulent flow first we will set up the solid mechanics physics interface here we are we have segregated the turbulent flow only for the air uh, air flow med uh, medium and solid mechanics is going to be solved only for the solid domains so here we will set up some boundary condition such as the uh, the fixed constraint which will allow which will constraint some of the boundaries will be always fixed in nature so let's say this boundary the stand of my structure is again the fixed and in the similar fashion there is symmetricity is present in the yz plane so let me add the symmetry condition on the side walls so here you can consider all the side walls for your symmetry plane once this symmetry plane has been considered we need to couple all the turbulent flow and the solid mechanics physics this can be done with the help of fluid structure interaction under the multi physics node so here you can see we are coupling the turbulent flow and solid mechanics once this coupling is done we can visualize our meshing this meshing looks fine for me i can compute my stationary study in order to solve my turbulent flow first once this study is solved i can use that result to solve my structural problem thus i have added the another study where i am solving the structural solid mechanics and the fluid structure interaction here i am also passing the variables the solutions from my study 1 not to mention you can also couple the fluid structure interaction in one way or in bidirectional way as of now for simplicity we are considering the one way coupling where because of the fluid flow how the structure is going to deform that is our main interest but of course because of the deformation how the fluid flow is going to disturb if that you need to model you can go with the fully coupled approach to save the time i also have the solved model with me here you can see i have also added the periodic condition symmetric condition open boundary condition and this open boundary condition is supported with the global equation in order to define the p difference variable as we have defined it here we have consider the fixed constraint on on some of our boundaries so here you can see then symmetry condition is applied on respective boundaries we are solving the multi physics flow and after successful computation you can visualize the velocity profile the pressure which is being exerted on our solar panel you can also plot the streamline plots how the wind uh, turbulent fluid flow is happening you can identify the stresses and the deformation that is happening because of the strong wind load so here you can see we have also considered the deformation how the so uh, how how the uh, how our solar panel is getting deformed of course it is the exaggerated view you can also coupled uh, and visualize the displacement magnitude here 
the displacement uh, almost in a range of uh, thousands, uh, hundreds of nano, uh, hundreds of micrometers. You can plot the safety factor for the glass as well as the ductile materials. So I hope this demonstration was useful for you. Apart from this, there are many other applications that can be modeled with Homsol Multiphysics. One such application is the solar concentrator. The photovoltaic devices are already a standard for some off-grid and on-grid application and their usage in other area is increasing. In combination with the concentrated solar technology, they will play a central role in the future of the world's electricity. To model the solar, uh, solar concentrator, we need to model the ray tracing phenomena where we will consider the solar energy in the form of rays. We will track those rays whenever they will incide on, on let's say the parabolic surface. We will consider the thermal effect. We will apply boundary condition, how the rays are going to interact with these boundaries, whether they will have the specular reflection or diffuse scattering, absorption, all this addition you can do in order to consider the appropriate material, wide list of material library is available. In the right top corner, you can see by considering the surface roughness on this parabolic reflector, how the concentration ratio has been reduced drastically as compared to ideal scenario. In this way, you can model more realistic design to predict your simulation. As we are concentrating the solar, solar energy, the heat transfer uh, mechanism, addressing the heat transfer mechani uh, mechanism is inevitable. Here, the radiation phenomena becomes predominant, where you need to consider to surface to sur surface to ambient or surface to surface radiation phenomena. Apart from the radiation, conduction and convection, heat transfer phenomena can also be modeled with the COMSOL multiphysics. And that can be coupled with the laminar as well as the turbulent flow. Let me talk you uh, uh, with one example. Here, we have modeled the solar cooker and how the temperature variation is happening throughout the day as per the location of the sun. Here, the glass is, is that material which is transparent to solar radiation and opaque to ambient radiation. And because of the greenhouse effect, we can see there is a rise in temperature. To model such a phenomena, surface to surface radiation needs to be captured. Apart from this, you need to consider the surfaces, whether it will act as a diffusive or specular one, or it uh, uh, can we reduce our uh, geometry complexity by considering the planes and sector symmetry. That also a simulation engineers take into account. With console multiphysics, you can, the ready-made physics interface is available to model the surface-to-surface -surface radiation, where you can apply the surface properties on the two different side of boundary. That could be emissivity, density. Even you can consider the specular and semi-transparent surface properties for your boundaries. With these stories and previously discussed example that helped us to understand the importance of the multiphysics simulation in the solar application. The solar panels are essentially the arrangement of solar cells, which are nothing but the PN junction diodes. 
now the fundamental question arises can we model the solar cell at the device level let us take deep dive into semiconductor modeling which can be offered by comsol multiphysics software in the semi semiconductor physics interface we solve for the drift diffusion equation for the electrons and hole hole pairs along with the poisson's equation you defines the doping doping level you defines the different generation and recombination rate for your electrons and holes let me take through one example here we are modeling the solar cell at the semiconductor level we are defining the different doping profiles such as you can see the donor donor and acceptor concentration profile in the top right corner we are considering the different recombination and generation rate semiconductor physics interface basically solves for the drift diffusion equation along with the poisson's equation here we considered the considered the complete ionization and one thing you have noticed here irrespective of the physics the workflow is going to remain same that is first to define the parameters create the geometry assign the material set up your physics and compute your study and in the last stage visualize your results here we are considering the fermi direct distribution to consider the concentration level and we are solving for the electron and hole pairs the uh, background doping is consider, uh, considered as the n type of doping in the similar fashion in order to form the pn junction the p type of that is acceptor doping has been considered whenever the sun energy is going to fall on this pn junction they are going to have form the electron hole pair that will generate and and club together so here with the help of trap assisted recombination the well known shockley red hall model we are considering the electron lifetime and hole lifetime the generation rate which is depend on the material properties as well as the solar irradiance has been considered by defining the defining the interpolation function we have applied the various biasing condition here you can see the interpolation function that is, that has been used to model the generation rate and last we have performed the stationary study for the different different v not voltage and these are the results here you can see the maximum power is almost 16.7 milliwatt you can also plot the energy diagram carrier concentration recombination and generation rate up to this we have so we have considered the model builder here the modeling and simulation involves the special uh, specialist in the mathematical modeling who are expert in the relevant physics or engineering field their work reduces the need for physics uh, physical prototype and yields the better result in the lesser time but in the order organization for the research and development not only the single team but multiple teams are playing a crucial roles where the application builder comes into the picture the modeling specialist can create the custom simulation apps based on their models and brings the benefit of the multiphysics simulation for the larger group of engineering and scientist here each each model can be converted into apps and can be distributed with various teams such as the testing team developer team and they can 
play around the inputs and outputs for for the given model with the help of simulation simulation app the operators or even the field technicians can have the unique understanding and intuition for their device and for their process with the help of simula uh, with the help of apps you can speed up the design process and can can foster the collaborative workspace as the multiple multiple teams are working to, uh, together for the r&d workflow and that become most successful when engineers and scientists are able to re, uh, request uh, the app and uh, request the changes in app design and well contributed uh, documents and simulation results with the help of model manager you can keep the track of all the, uh, all the application and version controls even the search and filters and you can do the efficient storage for your models one such example here we have is the solar cell and the solar cell has been converted into the well known app here user can define the location of the sun and thus the solar radiation can determine the generation rate so with the help of geometric optics we are considering the solar radiation here various source location you can define once that is done you can coupled your your uh, solar radiation with with the semiconductor physics and you can create a stand alone app let me drive you through that app one more time so here as of now in the previous demonstration we worked on the model builder workspace here it is very easy to switch to application builder as well under this application builder you will define the outlets for your app by creating multiple forms not only this you can also create your own set of coding lines to create to create some functionality and you can test this application so here you can see this app is now visible you can uh, here you can see all the uh, all the relevant feature which are available in the model builder only the selective inputs and outputs has been considered in this application where you will define the sun, sunlight properties you can choose the cities so let's say the coordinates or cities it could be a delhi and you can specify the years uh year month you can specify the altitude once the sunlight property is set this can be can be used for defining the generation rate for for your solar panels and the city location will be based on 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 where the your solar panels are going to be reside you can define the cell properties the cell tilt angle cell azimuth angle you can specify the thickness the, these are all details are from the technical sides and you can compute your sales results in conclusion console multiphysics can 
widely been used for modeling the solar cells, solar radiation, heat transfer, corrosion, and fluid structure interaction problem. The unique capabilities of COMSOL multiphysics modeling is to address the real world solar energy system. With this, we are now open for question and session. Great, thank you so much for that insightful presentation. If you could just uh, stop screening your screen once. Yes. So we have another poll coming up. Uh, everyone kindly register your votes for this. I would also like to make a small announcement here that uh, the attendees can post their questions in the Q&A chat box and our speaker will take up those in the next uh, five minutes or so. So if you have any questions, you can post them in the Q&A chat box. So I'll be just screening some some of the questions and uh, I believe uh, Mr. Weber will be the right person to answer this if he would want to share the PPT or not. All right, I believe uh, apart from this one request, uh, we don't have um, many question and answers to be answered. Uh, are, is there anything that you would like to add, Mr. Adhikar, as your closing remarks? Yes. Uh, <clears throat> yes. Uh, so I think there was a poll, uh, there was a questions from Jitendra ji. And uh, yes, we are uh, going to, uh, our marketing team definitely will get in touch uh, with you to share the presentation. And, and thanks, uh, thanks Sakshi for allowing us to uh, showcase the COMSOL capability uh, in this webinar session. And that's it from my side. All right, great. Uh, a big thank you to our audience and our esteemed speaker for this wonderful session. Uh, a big shout out to our attendees for extending their time and support for the event. And a special thanks to our partner, Comsol, for uh, organizing this event. We promise to be back with more exciting sessions soon. The floor is now open for networking. Thank you very much, everyone. Have a good day.